going to talk about a good, effective way to replace images using CSS. Um, replace HTML elements um, with images using CSS. And what, what too many people will often do when it comes to um, putting images as the headers and things, um, we'll just go and put IMG SRC and then put the, their image. So they'll put Im images. And then in my case, it's slash. Test dot JPEG. And then they think they're being all good by um, putting in an alt tag. And I will put header so let's have a look at what that looks like so it's just inserted the image and then when you hover over it it should come up with the t text of header but as we know it's still um, an image reference the reason why that's bad is if images can't render or if something comes along that can't read images it's still in the image tag so that won't show properly um so what we need to do is create a html element and just hide that within it with an image we can do that with some funky css so we've we've got our heading here and the first thing we need to do is to add a class to it. What this is going to do is give us a way to style it in our style sheet. Um, so we're just going to say class and we're just going to give it a class of header. Save that. Head on into our style sheet and the way we tell CSS that we're going to be working with classes is we put a dot and then the name of the class which is header in my case now we're going to do a bunch of um, stuff uh, so we're going to put background image for that particular and then we're going to do it a URL of, in my case, it's the images directory. And then slash test dot j p g Um, and then we need to do some other stuff. So if, if we look at that right now, it's got our thing displayed just the same. So we need to do some uh, funky stuff to actually make that work so we need to um, set a fixed width so that it can't um, go anywhere I need to put an ending on that 
How long? I'm just going to set a width. And this needs to be the width of our, um, whatever we were doing. And I believe mine was 100 pixels. Yep. Um, so we've defined fix width. Now we're going to define the height. And and the height of my image is a hundred pixels. But this is where that whole image replacement thing comes in. We're going to put zero pixels. Um, because we want the actual HTML text itself to be hidden and not seen unless CSS can't render. Um, so now we're going to put padding top. Which basically is telling the CSS to push the text down. So we're going to push the text down by a hundred pixels and let's now look at what happens um we've we've got that image in there um replaced but there's some stuff overflowing so what do we now need to do uh, set the overflow to hidden so it doesn't show what's been a result of that padding just set that to hidden and now if we look at what's going on we see we've got the image more importantly if we view the source of that in a browser like Firefox it's just an image it's just a hate it's just a H1 you see so the 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 um, HTML on its own won't be able to un understand the class bit, but it will uh, understand the H1. So we've replaced an image in a search engine friendly way. I hope you've enjoyed this video and hope it's been helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. Thanks for watching.